Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Rock Your Foundation. My name is Jody Stein. Come on in, say hello, and tell me where you're joining from. I am going to do this really fast video on this eye. We're going to finish it over here. And it's really pretty, and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So I've been kind of trying to do some Valentine's Day inspired looks. So if you like this, make sure to share it to your page so you can re when you um, if you want to recreate it, you have the video saved to your page. And we're just gonna I'm gonna share it into my beauty group, and then I'm gonna share it to my personal page. And then we are going to get started. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, we are going to use two liquid shadows today, and then I'm going to use a pressed shadow on my lower lash line. So I'm going to get started because I have to run. I have to pick up my son from school. So this is going to be super, super fast. The first color I'm using is called Exalted. It is a gorgeous uh, coral shimmer color. It is so pretty. And it just really makes your eye pop. This color is perfect for every single eye color, whether you're a blue-eyed girl, green eyes, hazel, gray, brown, it doesn't matter. This color is going to really make your eyes just pop. And it, it, as you can see, it's super easy to blend out. So I am just tapping in the color with this fluffy blending brush, okay? Now we're gonna go back with that color in just a minute, but I'm gonna do my second color. This is called Willed. The Willed is a kind of like a chocolate brown color and it is more of a matte shade. So we are gonna pop this right here on the outer part of my eye. And then we're gonna quickly blend this color out with a fluffy crease brush. You do need to work quickly with these liquid eyeshadows because once they dry, they are set and they are not gonna be going anywhere until you wash your makeup off, which is great, but you do have to blend them out really, really quickly. But as long as you have the right brush, it's not a big deal at all. All right. So I am gonna need a little bit more of that color. Hi Cornell, I am doing well. I hope you are doing well as, as also. Maybe a little bit more of Willed. I have not done my hair because I think I'm gonna put, <laughs> thank you, they're kind of fun. I have not done my hair. I do not feel like doing my hair. I'm gonna be putting a beanie on when I go pick up my son from school. And when I come home, I'm gonna throw a wig on and then I'll take my after pictures. So I really did not feel like doing my hair. Okay, you guys, look how these blend like a dream. I love it. I love them. If you have not tried the liquid shadows, I highly encourage you to do so. Grab a couple of different colors so you can mix and match. We are gonna go in with a, another pressed shadow though. Though, um, I'm gonna use this one right here. I think it is called Timid. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out, um, just to kind of softly blur these together and just kind of create that natural fade look. Okay, done. Now we are going to create a little bit of fun and color on my lower lash line with this color right here. This is from the Beloved Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I believe this is still available on my website. And so we are just gonna go in with this color right here. That one is called Irreplaceable. It is a really fun purple. It's almost kind of a little bit, 
it's just a bright, like a little bit of a brighter purple. So I'm just really want to make sure I tap off the excess because I have my foundation and concealer on and I don't want to have a lot of fallout. So we're just brushing this right here on that lower lash line just to create a little bit of something extra. All right, that is it. Oh, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of Exalted and I'm gonna blend this part out with just my ring finger because I just want a little bit more um, bright in my inner corner. So I'm just gonna tap. Okay, easy peasy. All right, we're gonna do some liquid liner. And then we are gonna do a coat of 4D mascara. I'm just gonna put some of my brushes away here. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a coat of 4D. I think it is super fun too. I really like it. It's just, the, the liquid shadows are so good. They're so pigmented, they're so blendable. Um, it just, I really like them a lot. I used them in yesterday's video too. So yes, I'm I'm getting ready because I'm gonna go get my son from school. I'm gonna come home, um, <laughs> throw a wig on, take some pictures, and then I'm gonna take that off and go out inside, go outside and shovel snow. But at least I will feel good while doing it, right? Okay. Okay, now what I like to do is I love using my waterproof mascara as a topper. It just seals my lashes into place. And with the cold weather, my eyes had have a tendency to water. And with the waterproof mascara, then I don't get that, you know, get mascara all like running down my eyes. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. Yes, I love them too. I love the liquid shadows. I love how they blend super easy. They stay in place all day. They're super pigmented. They're kind of like eyeshadow for dummies. If you have never uh, practiced with eyeshadow, I encourage you to try a liquid shadow first just because um, they're really easy to work with. You can either blend them out with a, a brush or your fingertip. Okay, there we go. We are gonna spritz on a little bit of fragrance. And that is it. That is my finished look. What do you guys think? If you have any questions about the products I used in this video, please send me a private message. If you um, want to save this video for reference, so you can recreate this look, just hit that share button and it'll save it to your timeline. You can just go back to your own page instead of trying to figure out where this video was at. 
And if um, you want to join my exclusive beauty group, then just tap on my nose and I have it linked in the description of this video. And I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I will be back tomorrow. And if there's any look that you see on Pinterest or Facebook or something like that and you want me to try to recreate it, just send it to me and I am happy to do that for you. Okay, so we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.